All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Trying to discuss further and do integrals and average value. And now look at the proof of the mean value theorem for integrals. I went over the mean value theorem for integrals in the last video, so make sure to watch that. Basically, to recap the mean value theorem for integrals, if f is continuous on the closed interval a and b, this means on a and b it's also continuous. And then there, is, there exists a number c in a and b such that yeah, such that f of c is equal to the average of the function or f a f uh, f a v g and equals one divided by b a b minus a times by the integral from a to b of f x d x. This is just the average function of a value. You can see that uh, proof of that in the video link below. And in other ways, you could write it as integral from a to b of f x d x, and that equals f of c times b minus a. And this is uh, graphically, you can see it as basically an area where this this f of c is equal to the average of this function f of x, and you get a, a rectangle with the width b minus a right here, and this rectangle has the same area as the area under the curve from from a to b. Now, for the proof of this mean value theorem for integrals, well, first of all, it's a con it's a direct consequence of the basic or the, the derivative version of the mean value theorem and the fundamental theorem of calculus. Basically, to recap on the mean value theorem for derivatives, let f be a function that satisfies the following hypotheses. f is continuous on the closed interval a and b, and yeah, on the closed one, so, it, so it's continuous on a and b as well, and f is differentiable on the open interval a and b. To open interval, again, means it doesn't have to be uh, continuous at a or b but uh, but in between has to be and uh, this just means you can take the derivative pretty much anywhere between a and b then there is a number c in a and b such that the derivative f of c is equal to basically f of b minus f of a all divided by b minus a and this over here is just the average uh, s average slope from a to b or equivalently you could write this as f of c times by b minus a and f of equals f of b minus f of a yeah so basically much uh, similar to the mean value theorem for integrals and again in the uh, geometric view of this or the graphical representation it's going to look something like this if you have something like this over here this is from a to b, this is f of x, then the uh, average slope from a to b right here where this uh, this height is going to be f of b minus f of a, that's the length from there to there, and now you have this width is going to be b minus a, and the average uh, slope or the, uh, yeah, the average slope across it all is going to be f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a and that's just the average uh, slope across but then in this theorem is saying that there's a number c like let's say let's over, over here such that the derivative across this so f prime of c this right here is equal to this average uh, slope or this average derivative across the whole thing so that's the mean value theorem for derivatives. Okay, now that I've recapped the mean value theorem for derivatives, now let's prove the mean value theorem for integrals. And the way we do that is basically we can apply the mean value theorem for derivatives to this following function. Let's say you have g of x is equal to the integral from a to x of f of x. I mean f of of f of t dt. I'll just change the units just because we're dealing with, uh, in this case, there's an x in here, so when you input it, we need a different variable, so t. So we have this right here. And now by the fundamental theorem of calculus, if you have an uh, integral like this, or this function is equal to this integral, this means that the derivative of this function, or the derivative of uh, g of x, is going to be equal to f of x or this inner function so the so basically the integral of this inner function yeah is going to be the antiderivative and the derivative of this function is going to be inside this 
in integral right there. So this is the fundamental theorem of calculus, or actually part one of the fundamental theorem of calculus. So now, yeah, so now if we apply the same, uh, this mean value theorem to this function right here, assuming that these all apply, it's a continuous function that's differentiable across A and B, thus we have, yeah, if we write this out, g prime of c is going to be equal to g of g of b minus g of a divided by b minus a okay but since we know uh, this right here uh, because we're dealing with this function so then g prime of c is going to be equal to f of c and now g uh, g of b is going to equal to if you write this out a b of f of t dt minus now you plug in the a inside this x right there a a of f of t dt all divided by b minus a and now this part right here we take integral from at just at one point the area is going to be zero so this is just going to equal to zero so we're left with now f of c is equal to one divided by b minus a of integral from a to b yeah a to b of f of t dt and this is our mean value theorem for integral so this is the exact uh, proof of it it's the exact thing uh, this one we're dealing with variable t it doesn't matter we could change it to x we could change it to y it does not matter it's the, a variable that you can change it doesn't matter so this is basically the proof for it and see it's pretty straightforward so we just define this as uh, integral and we just use the mean value theorem for derivatives and just apply the mean value uh, no apply the fundamental theorem of calculus and just change it all and just it's going to be exactly the mean value mean value theorem of integrals anyways that's all for today if you learned from this video and like always you could download these exact notes in the link below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution